Come on, Stapel. How do I call you? Stroma. How do I call you in English? Uh, actually, you your own pronunciation is okay. What is good for you? Stromae uh, with your Stromae, no <laughs> Stromae. Stromae actually. It's Stromae. But it comes from Maestro. Yeah. So you can change the pronunciation, of course. Um, tell me about your beginnings and your background, because um, you know people need to know a little bit about your heritage. So when I decided to choose my music. Uh, I discover Stomp and uh, yeah, because I was uh, learning uh, classical music and uh, drums and my friend just here uh, showed me the hip hop music and it was drums with words, which was really interesting for me. And that was the beginning for me. Uh, so my first school uh, was hip hop music and I discover like every teenager that Music is not only hip hop music, and before music, there were painting and other kind of uh, expression mode. And uh, yeah, I decided to do something different than imitate hip hop music as I could listen to. Um, what other influences are there for you? Because on the new album, you sort of do this track Cesaria, yeah. Evoria, which is amazing. Thank you so much. Yeah, congratulations. And thank you for playing it. Yeah. I saw a friend of mine, uh, <laughs> uh, a video of uh, you were playing the, the song Ave Cesaria. Yeah. And uh, yeah, that's an example of uh, influences that I had before um, when I was younger, um, when I was like five to ten, when we don't really choose uh, uh, our yeah, our music and we have to listen that in our family parties and stuff. That was the music of our parents, like Congolese rumba, like salsa, like... And now I'm maybe a young adult and I agree with them to say that, yeah, this music is nice as hip hop music, as dance music, as... And it was like, like I'm a Belgian, like I said just before, I tried to do this compromise between those different influences and yeah, I try to do my best to, to to match everything. When you go to make your music and you're writing your song, are you thinking about the video as well? Yeah, when I'm composing the a track, or sometimes uh, it helps me to it helps me to to finish a song. Sometimes uh, it's a problem for me to finish the song after that because the concept of the video takes so much import, importance of in the in the conception of the music that I can't finish the the track anymore. So, um, yeah, it's a problem. Sometimes it helps me, sometimes it's a problem to finish the track. Toi, tu pensais, rendez-vous, rendez-vous, rendez-vous au prochain règlement. Rendez-vous, rendez-vous, rendez-vous sûrement au prochain règlement. Let's talk about the videos, yeah, um, because they're quite important, very important. Yes, for Formidable, uh, the track is about loneliness and uh, somebody who has a hand. And uh, the only way he found to to have a hand is just to be drunk. And uh, I decided uh, when I was writing the song just to to fake and to act in the street that I was drunk and. Uh, we actually i expect that people um would be more horrible with me but there was they were so nice and i'm sure if we would um uh shoot the video here it would be exactly the same uh 30 of ignorance 30 of voyeurism and 30 of uh yeah uh aid uh, the help the, the soutien yeah. yeah help support Yeah, support and uh, it was beautiful to see that yeah there there were people who was film, filming because they they knew me of course of thanks to the first album and they was like oh the guy of Alorondance is so uh, fucked up in the street and it was really interesting to see how we can be but actually it was just a mirror because I was expecting a more horrible vision of uh, human but they were so kind or not kind but exactly as we are as the whole world is <laughs> wherever you are it's the Voyeurism, same. help yeah. and uh, 
and uh, ignorance. Formidable. Formidable. Tu étais formidable, j'étais formidable. Nous étions formidables. Formidable. Tu étais formidable, j'étais formidable. Nous étions formidables. Yeah, talk to me about Papa Ute. Tell me a little bit about that song. Um, Papa Ute is a, is a, is a song. Uh, it was, it's a more a question. The first version was maybe like more realistic or maybe angry against uh, like, you know, a, a teenager vision against his father, which is the worst of the world uh, when you are a teenager. And we grow, when you grow up, you just understand that your father just tried to do his best and you will try to do exactly the same. And yeah, before be angry against him, try to do the same and after that you can talk. And uh, that's maybe the message of the song. The question, um, everybody knows how to make babies, but nobody knows how to make fathers. So that's the question of the song. What's a good father? What's a father? And yeah, Papa Ute means, where's your father? Yeah, and it's um, all over the radio. It's 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 a really great to hear a song, particularly you know when there's such a strong message about it, Thank and you. it crosses all generations. This is is that's that strange funny. for you? Yeah. Like grandparents, really young people, you're right across the board. Yeah, right? that's that, that's the best compliment actually to be supported by people who are not in the same generation as you. And for example, the maybe the best compliment is maybe the oldest and the youngest uh, when. Yeah, like a Grammy come to you. It's a Grammy? No. Yeah. A granny. A, a granny, gr sorry. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Grammy's coming. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. Um, wait, um, lapsus. Uh, so, uh, yeah, the lads, we were in Ital Italy and uh, a granny was asking for an autogram, but yeah. it was so cute. Yeah. And it was a beautiful compliment to be, yeah, supported by somebody who has like 70 years old. And right now, are you? How are you going about the writing process for the next record? How do you feel about how you? What What do you do to to get creative? I want. Yeah, I, I will. I try to to have a home studio in the in the tour bus. Um, but I went ten days uh, in Bolivia, um, and yeah, I'm really inspired by the groove over there. You know, this like uh, like. It's not like acceler acceleration and slowing and and it's so interesting and I want to put these influences um, more in the in the other one I have already. Maybe it's gonna match, maybe not, but I will try to do my best to do something. Yeah, maybe that or I don't know Japanese music. I don't know. I will discover. I want to put every influences from everywhere to yeah to do something that we don't use to listen to. Well, if ever you want to come and just hang out and listen to records and music, you can always come. Okay, thank you. To the Brownswood basement, where you are, where you are right now. Merci beaucoup. Merci thank you. Toi. Thank you very much. Thank you. Pleasure.